Hey everyone, okay, so yesterday I opened up a Q&A session. I had my followers on Twitter submit your questions and I'll answer them in a video. Amazing questions, I had a great time doing it and I'm gonna do a lot more of those Q&As so you guys know going forward. Um, but since I posted that video, I got a lot of great questions in the comments section of YouTube. One question in particular was fantastic and I felt like there was enough meat there in that question that it deserved its own video. So that's why I'm doing this video about what to do, what should happen with Star Tours once Galaxy's Edge opens. Okay, so let me go ahead and read you the question from, from uh, Renee. Uh, she asked, what do you think will happen to Star Tours after Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is opened? And Renee, that's a great question. And that's why I'm doing this video. I feel like there's a lot of material there to really sink our teeth into. So I really want to dedicate a whole thing to it so we can all discuss it. First and foremost, um, Star Wars Land, okay, is going to be unlike anything that we've ever seen or star wars galaxy's edge i'm sorry <laughs> it's going to be like anything that we've ever seen uh so star tours is going to feel very cut rate very second tier third tier in comparison to the in comparison to that land um so if it, in my opinion and i don't know what disney's going to do but in my opinion uh, i think they should get rid of star tours now the best part of star tours I think everyone can agree was Captain Rex. Who doesn't love Rex, right? Now, we've already got confirmation from Disney at D23 Expo, just like two weeks ago, that Captain Rex, they found a spot for him at Galaxy's Edge. He's going to be a DJ. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Okay, so that's great. So Rex has a home, okay? Now, there's nothing really left now for, of Star Tours. I mean, the simulator thing is something that every ride, every company does now. That's no longer a novelty. Uh, Captain Rex already has a home. So there's really no need to keep Star Tours. Not to mention that the Millennium Falcon attraction, which will undoubtedly be another simulator, is going to be like light years, <laughs> no pun intended, but light years beyond what Star Tours has ever done. So there's no there's no need to keep it, okay? Um, I think they need to get rid of Star Wars. They need to get rid of all the Star Wars stuff actually in Tomorrowland. If you're gonna have a whole land dedicated to Star Wars, all the Star Wars stuff needs to go in that land. Maybe it's just my OCD, I don't know, but that's how I feel. I feel like if there's a whole land dedicated to it, then just you know put everything in there. Um, so yeah get rid of star tours and it helps tomorrowland too because now tomorrowland can focus on other stuff it doesn't it's not locked into like star wars and marvel because marvel is going to get its own land in california adventure and star wars is getting its own land at disneyland so now it opens it a world of possibilities for tomorrowland to try new things different things Okay, so should they get rid of Star Tours once Galaxy's Edge opens? Yes, yes, yes. Get rid of it. There's no need for it. There's no need for it. Like I said, we got Captain Rex. He's got a spot at Galaxy's Edge. The simulator stuff is 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 common now. So there's no like novelty to it. Star Tours offers nothing once Galaxy's Edge opens. So yeah, get rid of it. Um, Though, that's my opinion on what I think should happen with Star Tours. Now, will that happen? I don't know. Uh, if I was a betting man, I would say yes. I, I, I really do believe Disney's going to get rid of Star Tours. I don't know what they're going to replace it with, but I think that its days are numbered. Okay, once Galaxy's Edge opens, uh, I would consider Star Tours dead man walking. <laughs> pretty much and i'm fine with that i'm totally fine with that i mean i think that we have enough star wars repre re representation at disneyland where losing star tours isn't really a big deal anymore so those are my opinions on it renee thank you so much for that question i, I felt like your, your your question had enough meat on it where it deserved its own video so thank you so much for that 
Comment below, what do you guys think? Does Do you think Star Tours should stay in Tomorrowland? Should they move it to uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? Should they just get rid of it? What are your opinions on that? Comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe. I do Disney content all the time. And as always, may the Force be with you.